Welcome to this Live Now stream. Uh, my name is Luke Franks. We are doing a little 2020 rewind of probably what is the most mad year um, of my lifetime, maybe potentially up there of all time. So um, I hope we're all doing all right. Thanks for joining us on this live stream. Uh, if you're new to Live Now, loads of amazing stuff going on, um, all sorts across music and fitness and sport. Um, we recently did a big Dua Lipa concert. Five million people watched that. Um, the gorillas we had on as well. Pete Tong with an orchestra. Great. Um, finally, Pete Tong with an orchestra. That's, uh, that's about time that's happened. Uh, but yeah, so do check out and um, follow as well Live Now Global on all the socials. Uh, today we're going to chat about music uh, with some excellent guests. Very excited to have them here because they're all very nice. Um, so we have got um, top left and in the middle there two of the uh, excellent pop trio New Hope Club, Blake and George. Hello, Hello lads. <laughs> Hello. I'm enjoying looking at everyone's houses as well. We'll come on to that in a minute. Um, top right singer songwriter uh, Julius Cowdery. How's it going? Hey guys. All right, good to see you. And uh, also Archie Manners there as well. Lovely Archie, magician, presenter, general, havoc causing, excellent man. So uh, good to have you all on. Uh, on <laughs> good the morning. Stream. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to chat about um, all things music on this stream. First, though, to get to know you a little bit better, I've gone through your socials. Um, I've scrolled back quite far, not in a weird way, but also t far <laughs> enough that it's at that point where it'd be weird if I accidentally liked one of your posts from 20 right. weeks ago. So um, <laughs> sorry about that. So we're going to dive into uh, dive into your socials in a minute. Before we do that, um, lovely backdrops. I, I like, obviously, Archie, you've thought about it. You've got the Christmas tree. George, you've got a Christmas tree in the in the background as well. Was that already there before before this, or did you bring it in specially? No, it actually was. It was actually it? was. So you've made no effort. It's over this side. <laughs> lovely. So and a, that a pinball machine? Yeah, it's my dad's pinball machine, yeah. Oh, <laughs> We've had it for a couple of years. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Julius, just a, re just a real clean, clean, lovely house there. Do you know what? I, I moved a few things around for, for, for the feng shui. Uh, oh, but no, I'm at my dad's at the moment and the heating's just gone. So I'm oh. absolutely <laughs> freezing. Um, <laughs> if you need to disappear at any point to grab yourself a coat, we won't judge you. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll Actually, understand. Um, kettle's and... boiling. It's good news. Uh, Blake, lovely <laughs> guitars in the background. Uh, Not much going on in this band. one. No, okay. I've got this. Uh, I've got this guy here. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, go on. Show us that. Who's that? This guy's pretty cool. Um... Yes. <laughs> oh oh God, yes. Like penguin. Like penguin. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> good, good. Like it. Great start. Well done. Um, all right, let's look yeah. at your socials then. So I scrolled through and went back through your socials. Um, so first up, New Hope Club. I, I chose this picture because it's um, two of you running through a field, like really well-dressed farmers. Um, mm -hmm. I, just, I was just intrigued. What, what, what are you doing? Where are you? Where's your other member, Reese? Because he, he's not in that as well. Can you tell us we're running that? after. We're running away from him uh, oh. in that picture. Okay. He lost his temper. Did he? And uh, No. <laughs> um, <laughs> That was actually, we were on like a writing trip in the countryside and we just thought, oh, there's a field. Let's get a photo in the field. And then we we're like, let's run in the field. It's really boring. Um, <laughs> that's what's going we on. We ran backwards and forwards like three or four times there. So that Did was you, probably like the Just to get the good thing. shot. That's the most exercise we've done all year, really. Yeah, mm. I was going to say, if that was your, was that your lockdown exercise, a little, little run through Literally. the field. Then you'd found, well, it's a very nice photo. So I enjoyed that. Well done. Um, next, Thanks. I think Julius. I looked through your feed. Your feed's really, really nice. It's, oh. it's, no, it's good. Like you've, you've got your fashion sense is great. You've never had a bad hair day in your life. I don't think it's. Uh, you, you've always got a good, good fade. And then, but I particularly liked this photo, which is of, of your dog, the love of your life. It said on your Instagram. So. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been unlucky in love in the past few years. So yeah. the love of my life goes oh. to a little cocker. Um, but that was when I went for the convict <laughs> hairstyle earlier in the year. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's tickled Archie for, for Sorry. The, I want to know why the dog is the same colour as his skin. That's what's the most amazing. There's so much fake tan, he is the same colour as his dog. Yeah, we both go to the same tanning salon. Do you? And, um, <laughs> yeah, we do. We, and we, mix, we mix really well. It's actually not my dog, but I take very much a dog father role. Right, um, okay. So you're sort of using it for likes in many ways. 
Yeah, it's still the love of my life. All right. But I, I don't have to pick up the shit, you know, I don't have to pick yeah. up any, I don't have to do the bad jobs, I just do the cuddles. So it's great. Great. You're a smart guy. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Good work. No, it's all right. Um, Archie, I had a look at yours as well. The death. This is just a image from a video of yours. It's just a picture of Carol Baskin because there she is. Oh, <laughs> lovely Carol. There she lovely is. Lovely Carol. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great freeze what a, frame. What an absolute babe. God, she made me so much money. I'm, I'm very grateful. So many views. <laughs> Thanks, Carol Baskin. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this. And that video is unreal, by the way. It's unreal, the video. The vi well, will you, why don't you tell us about it, Archie, because you did it. Uh, we, we, uh, well, Josh Peters and I, who I have a YouTube channel with, wanted to uh, prank celebrities into thinking they were on late night talk shows as a way of getting to them. And we managed to trick Carol Baskin into thinking she was appearing on Jimmy Fallon's show in America, where she wasn't. She was just appearing on our YouTube channel. The way we did that was we downloaded a load of clips of Jimmy Fallon on his real show, talking about cats and tigers and things like that, and then played them using a soundboard to Carol Baskin. So she thought she was talking to Jimmy Fallon. She wasn't. She was talking to a computer. Uh, and then we put it on the internet for all to enjoy. So that's the story behind that. I still email her occasionally. She's absolutely lovely. She's genuinely a Is wonderful she? So she person. Obviously now I've seen the video and she, she took it well, did she? She's probably, you know, obviously a little bit kind of crazy uh, in that she looks after 300 tigers. That's not sure. normal behaviour. Uh, but she took the prank really, really well. Good. What do you, what do you chat about with Carol Baskin on email? Uh, we chat, well, all sorts of things. What she's doing for Christmas, uh, you know, what her news on the new strain of COVID is, how she's going to deal with Brexit, you know, all the really serious things. No, uh, we chat about all sorts of nonsense. The last thing we talked about was um, um, what she's doing next for Netflix. Um, so she has kept in touch, which is really nice. I mean, you know, I've never met her in the flesh, but I'm sure when we're allowed out again, I will be yeah. heading down to Tampa, Florida, uh, and she'll be the first person I will hug. Love it, love it. That's the heart of the 2020 story we all need. Just, just don't, don't step into any meat grind. Yeah. <sighs> no, she's fine. She's, she's only <laughs> maybe killed one of her husbands. I feel like she's really safe, to be honest, and that's all I like. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. We don't know that, so that's fine. Um, um, what, what will be your music highlights of the year? Um, apart from WAP, um, George and Blake, what, what have you been loving this year? Ooh, I like the new Haim album. It's not that yeah. new anymore, oh. but I love Haim. Their new album's really cool. Uh -huh. um, George, what are you thinking? Um, I I'm not too sure. There's loads of good music out. I like the new Dua Lipa album. Yes. I think that's really cool. There's um, some cool 80s like, stuff on that. Nice, um, I love it. Yeah, loads of good music this year. Go on, George, sorry. I just said loads of good music this year, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It has been a good year. It's been a difficult year. Touring-wise, everything else, but there's been some good music. Julius, what have you been loving this year? It's always a hard question, that, actually. I love... I actually really loved Harry Styles' album. That was the start of this year, right? I think so, yeah. I have Love, love a bit of Elderbrook and Jungle. They're easily released great music. Yeah, I'm pumped. I love, I mean, actually, I'd have found new respect for Shawn Mendes when I watched his Netflix show. Have you guys seen that? I've not watched it. that yet. I like yeah, I did see it. I thought it was really good. Yeah, loads of respect for him after that, but hey. Nice. Um, Archie, uh, go on, what other, what other stuff are you loving apart from WAP? Obviously, I know it's been a big part of your... Uh, I, I'm a massive, uh, I'm perhaps unlikely fan of Youngblood at the moment. I, uh, okay. I, met, I met him on a Zoom call a couple of nights ago, and he's absolutely hilarious. Like, his energy and his vibe is just insane. He looks so amazing with all the red hair and stuff. I'm, she never heard his music, but uh, I, 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 I'm sure it's brilliant. I, I'm, I'm a massive fan of his. I just think he looks very cool, and his Instagram's great. Which is a great way to judge people. So that's that absolutely. No, you should always judge them by their Instagram feed, not by the content they're creating. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way forward. <laughs> good message for us all to take into the way forward. Next year. Yeah. I think that's good. <laughs> um, good. Now, obviously, uh, you've mentioned a couple of celeb stories already, Archie. And you know, you guys have been in the industry a little while. You've been doing your thing, making making good music or uh, presenting and, and making magic and pranks and everything else you do, uh, Archie. Have you got any stories with anyone in particular? that you'd like to share. This can be A-list stories. You can name drop, it's fine. We've got a safe space briefly. Or it can be a Z-list celebrity, probably better if it is that. Um, any weird situations you've been in? Um, New Hope Club boys. Um, I'll be honest, we've never had like that many like weird ones, like where okay. something's gone wrong or anything. 
um, like one of like a coincidence one was like we met Zara Larson in New York. We were just doing like a radio tour, and she was there, and we met her for the first time. We talked about music, and then we went away, and then it was like about four hours later, we were walking down the most random street in New York, and then Zara Larson was there with her team, and we were like, oh my, oh, hi again, and then we went and got Korean barbecue together, and it was just like a random day. Um, Korean barbecue with Zara Larson, that's a good day. That's a day. That was a good day. It was a good day. Yeah. Uh, well, we also bumped yeah. into Niall Rogers. We was doing like an event and we, we met Niall oh, Rogers. Yeah. It was just, it was so crazy. Was... Um, yeah, so that was, I was kind of starstruck then. That was, that was really cool. Yeah. And we, uh, we what a legend. Bruno concert as well. And uh, he poked his head out of, out of his dressing room. He's like, did the whole football team show up? And we were just like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Niall, Bruno just... Mars, please just don't talk to me. <laughs> Yeah, it's way well, too nerve wracking. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. There's, no, there's nothing you can say to Bruno Mars to like sound cooler than Bruno Mars. Just like, sort of, definitely no. Out, just laugh all his jokes. He's I'm tiny though, right? He's he's absolutely minuscule. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, very like small. five foot two or something. Yeah. No, he can't be that really? small. He's five foot two. If he is five foot two, I, if he remember, five foot two I think he gets I... free tube travel though, which is nice. If he's that small, I think he gets. I think the government give him free free underground travel. <laughs> always so see someone... him on the underground. He's, he's always I, on the about very useful for him. Julius, have you run into any famous faces uh, this year or? This year? I used I used to. I'm sure Archie's been here as well. But I used to go in the karaoke room quite a lot on Mahiki, on oh, Dover yeah. Street in Mayfair. Okay. And I used to. What I used to do, uh, I used to just hang out in this karaoke room. And so I used to sing with all these artists. So Little Mix came in, and I ended up singing a song with them. And then Ella Henderson came in. I've got all these videos of me singing with different artists. And then one time, I mean, Justin Bieber went in, I didn't sing with him, but then um, one time, Noah Horan came in, he sung Budapest. Um, and there was a video of him just put, bowing down to me whilst I was singing. I think I was really drunk, but he was absolutely hammered. Um, and he was filming it. And suddenly the security realised he was absolutely hammered. And obviously he was hammered enough to bow down to me, so he clearly was hammered. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> And as everyone exited, everyone had to delete every image and video of evidence of the uh, of the uh, of the singing. Sadly, so I never got that video of him bowing down to me singing. But uh, that was quite a funny experience. Yeah, absolutely. You can play it in your head, and that's fine. That's all good. Um, Archie, apart from Carol yeah, yeah. Baskin uh, this year, who who uh, which celeb faces have you bumped into? Or well, I had I had to have I had to have dinner with Katie Hopkins for work. That was pretty terrible. But the uh, a week before that, I went to a party in London, and I I did get quite drunk and I was outside in the smoking area obviously not smoking and I it was one of these like restaurants where you go downstairs into like the basement and I tripped up on these stairs slipped up and I started sort of head first flying down the stairs and I took out two members of Little Mix on the way they, they were just sort of pushed aside as I was literally flying down the stairs landed face first bleeding from my head turned over to see Brooklyn Beckham ask me if I was all right mate and I said yes I was could he get me a drink he said he'd get me a drink and he never came back um, so oh. that was my rather sad interaction. My only interaction with the Beckham family. Um, very, very sad. But oh, I did take out two members of Little Mix, which is a public service in many ways. <laughs> 50%, well, more than 50%, sadly, now. We're going to um, chat about uh, some music memes this year. So um, we, there's, been, there's been, I think, one thing we've realised is in 2020, or if there's ever sort of, you know, global panic, the memes are going to be premium right to the very end. If this was the end of the world, there's going to be memes, you know, on the on the final day. So uh, we're going to go to the first little meme now, which uh, on here, I don't know if you saw this, but on another chat show, similar to this, but, you know, I don't know if it's as good. Um, it's got a bit of my history, but it's Kelly Clarkson's chat show. Uh, she had um, uh, Vin Diesel on the show to perform a single virtually and an entire audience of people um, who were, had to sing along virtually to Vin Diesel's new song. Has anyone heard Vin Diesel's track this year? No, I haven't had the honor yet. No, it's, I, it's, I, I think I saw this moment when it came out. It was hilarious, wasn't it? Really yeah. awkward or something? It was really awkward because um, I'm not sure we got the clip right now. But it's yeah, it, it, they, what they did was turn sort of about ten TVs uh, up on their side, so they tried to create an audience <laughs> out of tellies to try and they did they, they did this, didn't they? Like, like that? <laughs> yeah, they were, well, not like that. More like that. And then they were, no, that still doesn't work. Either way, they, they were the right way around. <laughs> 
the whole thing didn't work. It was, it was a nightmare, and uh, they had to all try and sing together and sort of dance. And it was just loads of people. Here we go. Um, <laughs> yeah. First, oh, the really oh. cool is that Vin Diesel got a song no. on Kelly Clarkson's show with the entire, or, entire audience of people dancing like they're all at a wedding, but no one's supposed to be there. It's, it's quite weird, isn't it? So, uh, That's there so you go. That was good. It's <laughs> so awkward for everyone involved. I love to uh, think how how they explained that to them before they agreed to come on the show. Um, that was good news from this year. Um, we've got another one. Do you remember this trend, um, which was weird already, and then Dolly Parton made it super weird uh, when it was the kind of me um, on Facebook, me on LinkedIn, me on uh, Twitter or Instagram. Yes, and very Twitter. strange. This oh is quite weird, isn't it? Um, what were your first, first thoughts when you saw this this year? I mean, this Just, is the first time I've seen it this year. Oh, is it? Um, yeah. So quite scarred, and now my Christmas might be ruined. But oh, scarred by the Tinder. This, yeah, the Tinder's an interesting choice. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of all for it, though. You know? <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Go on, Dolly. Do your thing. So you, yeah. you know Go the on, vaccine Dolly. that people are getting, the vaccine people are getting right now, this, like, Pfizer vaccine, Dolly Parton donated a million dollars to the initial research of it. So in many ways, the vaccine that is going to return us all to normality is the responsibility of Dolly Parton. She gave a million dollars to the research and development of that vaccine that's now come good. Well, well so done, big Dolly up, Parton. Dolly. Yeah. Well done, Dolly. Great work helping save the world. Well done, her. Brilliant. Oh, good, good one from her. Um, also, uh, this little meme, um, Spotify do their raps every year where they, uh, you know, you go back and you see what songs you've been listening to most. Um, did you see this? In total, you spent 6,534 minutes listening to Chris Whitty this year. Uh, your top song of the year is Next Slide, please. <laughs> Which is quite accurate, isn't it? Um, what, do, what do you make of that? This is probably quite true, isn't it? Most, most listened to artists yeah. this year. Chris Whitty. Poor Chris Whitty. Someone sent him a, an actual, uh, like a, a clicker to Downing Street. I don't know if you saw this on Twitter. Someone Amazoned a clicker so that he didn't have to say next slide, please. And they, they sent it to 10 Downing Street. It was signed for. So somebody in Downing Street did receive the clicker, the remote control. And tragically, Chris Whitty has not been seen with it. So he's still obviously loving going next slide, please. Next slide, please. Well, that's his catchphrase now, isn't it? Maybe that is, yeah, exactly. Home. When he's on Strictly Come Dancing next year or I'm a Celebrity, when we see Chris Whitty eating kangaroo willy uh, in, the, in the jungle, next, that'll still be, he'll still be known for the next slide, please. That's a lovely moment, isn't it? Probably be in Wales as well. Chris Whitty in yeah. Wales, eating kangaroo penis. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely Perfect. image for next year. That's, that's what we've got to look forward to next year. Um, Music-wise, <laughs> what have you missed most this year that you are buzzing to get back to next year? Um, New Hope Club and Julius, I imagine, um, touring, doing live shows in the flesh, in real life. Is that up there? Is that what you want to do first? Yeah. yeah. I guess, I guess for me, I just, I, yeah, I'll go for it. I don't, I don't know my connection is bad, guys, so if you can hear me, but um, for me, um, songwriting in person, being in a studio and writing in person, I, I've done so many Zoom sessions that I'm just kind of losing the plot a bit. Uh, so being able to just be in person and just create, that's number one for me. Um, go on, George. So you guys, far away. Yeah, well, we actually, we just did like a, a virtual live show like two nights ago. So um, actually getting back to where fans can be in the audience is, I mean, we just can't wait for it. We had like a whole world tour book this year and we've had to obviously push it back. So we're just excited to get back out on the road and playing new songs and release new music. Um, so that is 100% what we're looking forward to next year. What do we think? What do we think live events are going to be like? I did a, I did a live event in between the yeah. first two lockdowns, and people were miles away. People couldn't be close. Everyone had to sit on different tables, and security was so strict. It just didn't feel right. Yeah, yeah. I've How been do you think one, they're going to? <clears throat> yeah, I went. I went to one like a couple of months ago, and I got told off for going like up on my chair when you when you weren't sat down properly. The guy was like, sit down, sit down. I was like, oh, come on, come on. I just want to sing. <laughs> but, you can't have fun. Is, right? No, literally. Yeah. Archie, have you done any sort of shows, any magic shows, sort of virtually? Uh, I've not done any, because I... 
it doesn't really work because like, if you've got like a pack of cards, I obviously when you're on Zoom, you can see yourself. So if I say say stop, take a card, I can see exactly what it is. So the kind of magic dies a bit. I did a couple of performances when it was legal to like 15 people each, and it's um, yeah. I mean, I can't obviously can't wait to get back to the to the world tour that I I haven't booked um, or the the hundreds of thousands of fans that I don't have. I, I'm really looking forward to meeting them in the new year when when eventually they come. <laughs> Uh, next year, Unlike New Hope Club and Julius, I, I don't have quite the same pool, <laughs> sadly. But, you know, the Andrews yeah, the, or Women's Institute can you, Christmas a, party can you do as a magic say. trick right now while you're here? I can't do any... No, I, uh, disappointingly not. It doesn't. It just doesn't work on Zoom. Sorry. It doesn't work. What is that? But I will open on, for you on one of your world tours. I'll come forget in it. five minutes. There you are. I'll do that. Yeah, this would be a good tour, yeah. the three of you. I'd come to that for sure. Um, if you were going to set someone up... It's, it's good, so you're welcome. Uh, if you were going to set <laughs> someone up... <laughs> Next year, <laughs> prank rock. Don't ruin it, Julius. That was his trick. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> who would you prank next year, Archie, if you could line someone up, maybe from the music world? Um, you've done Carol Baskin. Um, you've done loads of other people as well. You, the Ed Sheeran lookalike you took. Ed Sheeran questions. lookalike. Yeah, I've done, I've done well. a few. Um, lots of like Z-listers from Love Island. Uh, Katie Hopkins, David Williams. Yeah, a few. Um, I would quite like to prank the Vamps. To be honest with you, I, I did a I did a call with uh, uh, Connor from the Vamps last week, and he was convinced that what I was doing was a prank. So they're quite on edge, but I think it'd be amusing to get them. Well, I love them; they're great. They're so talented. And, uh, George and Blake to help you out. They're obviously good. Exactly. Well, this, well, yeah. There you go. This could be our little yeah, beginning can, of something. We can make that happen. Let's do that. Yeah, great. Let's get involved. Because there we go. We've decided. All right. Um, well, to, to wrap up, then um, you've got ten seconds each. Uh, you you can plug what you like on this live stream. Tell us about what you're working on, what you're doing, and uh, what you're looking forward to next year. So uh, go on, Blake. Um, what can we expect from New Hope? Um, obviously, lots of writing. So album number two would be the goal for next year. Touring. All the shows are still booked. Don't know if they'll happen. Um, Honestly, just to be able to just live a bit more normally. That's all I really want. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's George, all I want to add to that? <laughs> uh, se second that. Get back to normal. That's pretty much it, isn't it? The baseline yeah. normality. Uh, Julius, what are you working on at the minute? What can we look forward to? Um, I am releasing a four-track EP of singles. Um, but I've got two collabs coming out. One with an amazing girl called Brielle Von Hugel, who's a New York artist. Uh, and another with a massive DJ who uh, I can't even mention right now. Um, so, yeah, I guess 2020 will be a, a year of collabs rather than just lots of different singles. Which will be Excellent. Look forward to that. Archie, yeah. any plans for next year? My plug. I have my plug. Uh, I don't have that many plans for next year, really. It's uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. We'll wait and see. I, yeah. I, first of all, I want to get the vaccine in my veins. Then I'm going to go party for a long time. Then I'll be so incredibly drunk, I'll be hungover for at least a month and a half. So I imagine I won't be doing any real work till something like mid-May. So, you know, keep, keep tuned. <laughs> Good work. All right. Uh, well, stay thank tuned. you all. Uh, stay safe. And yeah, let's uh, get back to normality soon. Good wrap-up of the year. Thank you for joining us on it. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thanks so much Cheers, for having us. Bye, everyone. Guys, thank nice you. Merry Christmas. Stay safe, guys. Bye. Yes, yeah. and... Uh, that's yes. our little wrap up of 2020. Uh, make sure you follow Live Now Global on socials. You can check out everything they're doing online as well. Um, and we will see you for the next show tomorrow. So see you then.